Good morning. Good morning. Welcome and welcome back, everybody. This is Tanya of Get Crafts. Today we are going to do some playing. And I have an idea, but I have not made one yet, which is, sounds like just like me, right? So I'd like to make something to go inside the Christmas journal that we've been working on. So I'm using some scraps from my desk, and I grabbed this paper pad that is in my winter box, my Christmas box of papers and stuff that we can use this as well because this goes very well with the papers we're already using. This is not from this year. This is from, I think it's Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby 2019. So this is an older pad. I absolutely love this and the rustic Anyways, this is going to go well. So I also grabbed a file folder because I have these file folders I haven't used for a long time. These are the sectioned ones, but we're going to tear this one apart. Yep, we are. We're going to make something else out of it. So my thought is cutting this down and making something a little more handleable. Ooh, I have even more ideas. Okay. I don't have my big scissors with me, so let's go ahead and cut. Gotta get Chloe to give those back. She needs to go get her own dang scissors. I know they're her great-grandmothers and everything, but um, I'm not done with them yet. <laughs> so we're gonna have this piece we can work with. Maybe we'll work with this one first. Let's work with this one first, because it's the smaller, and we'll get it off out of the way. So I hope everybody's doing great today. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to make little files like this for these. For this one at least. I hope you guys are getting all your Christmas stuff done. Your Thanksgiving ready for Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, I looked at the calendar yesterday and it's sneaking up way faster than I thought it was. Holy moly, it's right around the corner. So this one we're going to turn into just a little pile folder. I just need to trim off those little pieces, make this straight. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready for Thanksgiving. I'm not. Oops, I don't like that side either. See, my scissor cuts just are not ever <clears throat> really what I want them to do. So let's round those corners back up. We're not really doing anything for the holiday um, this year. Uh, Josie got invited to a friend's. And I told her, go ahead and go. I'm going to probably be at work. Somebody's got to go. We're closed that day, but somebody's got to go in and feed the animals. Now, this is going to be a non-traditional file. It's not going to look exactly like we're used to. And that's okay. But somebody's got to go feed all the animals that day, so I volunteered to do it because, you know, I know my boss is really, my boss is exhausted. I feel for him. Um, there's a lot been going on, and <clears throat> he's got to do a lot of the grunt work, and I know it's hard on him. So I'm going to, I'm sure he's had to, to do the animals every year, probably for every holiday. So I told him I'd do it. And let him stay home with his family this year. Let's round to this corner. Oops, actually, that is a straight corner, so we could leave this. We'll make another little tuck right here, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. We could even put a little tab on this one, make it really cute, make it look like a smaller version of the big one. All right. See, I've already come up with something, and I was not planning that. So I do want to cover it with Christmas papers, of course, because this is boring. So what we'd like to do... Let's go ahead. You know what else I'd like to do? I kind of like... No, maybe not on this one. We'll do that on a different one. I'm just going to put a... Maybe put a, um, a ribbon on it to tie it shut. If I did, this is where I would put it. But because it's got that tab on there, that, that would be kind of hard to do. I think I'm going to go like this. This could also be a pocket. So... Ooh, I like this one though. But then not with that. Um, we'll put 
glue on this part. So we'll probably have, I mean, we'll have a nice dinner. We'll, we've got, I mean, we all live here anyway, so we'll, we can pick a different day. We don't have to do it that day. We'll just have a nice dinner together and do it that way. We can be Thanksgiving any day, right? Not just on that holiday. Be thankful every day. So, yeah. So, I'm ready, but I'm not. I think today, what I'm going to do later today. I've got some errands I've got to run this morning after I'm done creating. I'm creating for with you guys first. I'm spending time with my friends. <laughs> got to do a little me time today. And then I've got some errands to run. And then I am going to come home and I'm going to turn on some sappy Hallmark movies, Lifetime movies. And I'm going to clean my living room and get ready for the holidays. I think I'm going to pull out my bins. I'm not going to be able to put up a tree this year because my living room is too full, I think. Um, with all the kids here, uh, some of my workstation has had to move to the living room. So I don't know where I would put a tree at this point. I have, a, I have a fake tree that I put up because a real tree is just too much work. And I'm always worried about the fire hazard of that. So I always use a fake tree. Um, not to mention, the I love the smell, but I am also um, seem to be allergic to the pollen for pines. So I kind of tend to stay away from them. They make me itch. Fake tree has worked out, even though I love the smell of the real ones. Makes me feel like I'm camping. Let's hold on to those because that would be a cute little tab there. And it would match. So we could put... Oh, I was going to make a pocket there. Dog on it. Oh, well. That's okay. The tab the tab is going to be enough. Or the this little pocket would be enough. So let's do this one in a totally different pattern. Just for kicks. Ooh, we could use this on there. That'd be cute. I like it. I like it. Um, let's see if I have a small scrap here so I don't have to cut another piece. Let's see. This one. I don't want to do that one. Whoop. Here, let's get into our papers. I'm actually sure I've probably got some. Something cute. That would be really cute with this as a trim. Add all the fabrics in there, huh? Let's do that. Why not? Why not? Let's see, I want this side, so we're going to go there. Ooh, maybe I need to glue this side so that side's smooth. Can I do that? That would be... Let's just round this corner up. Well, I guess we can, anyway. That way the paper will be smooth on the other side, so when you put in the tag or whatever that goes in there, it won't get caught up on that glue. Let's do it this way. Glue on my thumbs already. Oops, and then I can just trim that corner with the corner rounder. Should have no problem punching through there. You guys, it feels weird to always be using my scraps because I feel like I never use my, my tablets, but <laughs> I'll never get to use them. That's untrue. I just have so many scraps. I need to do something with them. All right. Probably shouldn't have rounded that one, but you know what? I got to do this anyway. So we'll put, oh, that would be just cute. Just like that. Here, just, we'll just put it across. That'll work. I've made some fun projects this year. I'm so excited. I um, haven't shown you guys everything yet. I've got more to make, so I have a... Okay, so there's that one. Actually, we'll just kind of put this off into the middle just a little bit. 
This is going to be just a little pocket in the front. Little tuck pocket. Nothing big will be able to fit in there, but something, something fun. A little surprise of some sort. Okay. And then should we put this as a little tap? We don't, let's see, we don't really need a tap, do we? Not really. All right, I'll just throw that little piece away. We don't have to use it. And then maybe we could use this. Ooh, this would be cute right up here. I mean, it'll be cut, but I think that would be beautiful right there. We'll just put it... I want maybe I'll put the last name right there on the tab so that it doesn't get cut off like that why did my phone vibrate oh they can wait they can wait this is this is important this is important stuff this is my sanity right here so that I can put up with phone calls. Actually, it's not even a phone call. It's a notification from a website. But still. I don't want everybody to think I'm ignoring that phone call. Because <laughs> I'm not. It wasn't a phone call. even go ahead and dispose of these. Look at me getting rid of scraps. Yep, yep. All right. Look how cute that is already. I think I want to round these too. Let's soften this up a little. There, I love that. Oh, it's looking so cute. I do wish I would made that a pocket, but that's okay. And then, I don't know that I'm going to do I don't think I'm gonna put paper in here, but I do need to, I do want to do the back. So we'll we'll do that. Let's find a cute piece. Maybe we'll just put this on the back. Because that would make sense and it would coordinate really well. Let's just do that. Something simple. Nothing too major. We'll ink it up and be good. Move on to another one. Let's find something else cute to make. <clears throat> Oh, I think what I'm going to do, too, I have my table out in the living room today to craft. So, um, it's still. So, I think what I need to do, I have a journal I need to finish up for a swap. I think I might take that one out there and work on it. I've been kind of putting it off. I don't know why. But I've been putting it off, and it needs to get done, and I can sit down with a movie and finish it. It hasn't been my fav my favorite journal to work on. I, to be honest, it's just um, it's not my taste. I'm making it to the recipient's taste, which is fine. You know, it's they're they're. It's just it's hard sometimes to craft in a way that somebody you know somebody else will appreciate better than your own style. So. So I think that's why it's been, why I'm putting it off a little bit. It's just it's just not my flavor. It's bright colors, y'all. <laughs> it's bright colors, but that's okay. It, it gets me out of my comfort zone. So let's go ahead and distress this up. And there'll always be a little bit of me in it, right? Because I'm the one making it. So it's just how it works. It's just not as fun. There's rules. I don't like those rules. I like creative expression. Okay. All right, and that paper actually really helped to uh, make this sturdier, which is great. On the, the paper on the back. 
terms of cardstock, so it made this a lot stronger. You can tell. Get these edges, especially this bottom one. This bottom one's not covered, it's just blank folder. So make sure we get that. Get these white edges. Then I want to kind of go in here and get a little color in here too, just so it doesn't look so new. And then we can kind of have fun putting some stuff in there. All right, let's make a little tag that'll fit. This will be. Too long but that's okay because if I fold it over in half it would be great okay so it's just gonna be a little actually we could put in a little note or we could put a little journaling make it a little oops let's do one at a time being over eager. Just put that right there. That would be super cute. But really, I don't even have to put anything on it. Um, There's a little note, a note spot, and then we've got this. Look at that! We made something cute out of that file folder that was sitting there taking up space in my in my in my craft room. Let's do it again. Let's make something else. All right, let's um, we can make a bigger one with this one. Ooh, that would be great. Let's cut this off, and we'll just do the same thing with this one. Honestly. Just be different sizes for different journals for different Christmas journals. Let's go ahead and cut this down straight. And let's see, how do I want to handle this? If I fold this up to here. I guess I could just cover that with paper. We can make our top paper go this way. Let's just do, we'll do that. We'll leave, leave and leave that little section over on that side. So we'll have this. Okay. Is that nice? I think so. And then this one go down to here. How about this one we make the little, oh, you know what? I have an idea. It's coming, Timmy. Alright. This one little bit different. This one we're going to make a pocket. And we'll glue this way. 
or we could put a hinge on it this way. That would be cute too. I have a better idea. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, it's coming to me. I got this. All right, um, paper, paper, paper. Let's just put, this one's about the right size. Let's just put this one here. Or I'll put it on the side. Let's put it on the side. I have an idea for this one, you guys. This is going to be cool. It's not going to be, I mean, it's going to be a pocket, but it's going to be even better than a pocket. Even better. I don't know how to explain it, but it just came to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anybody do this before, so this will be fun. Okay, we'll see if it works. <laughs> if it does, you guys need to make some too. I think it's going to work. Okay. Gosh, I wish I had my other scissors. I keep saying that, but it's true. We're going to make a pocket notebook thing. Okay. We're going to round these corners. You don't have to, but I like it. And we're going to round this corner so that it matches. Okay. Now. This is the pocket part. Let's um, let's find a cute paper for this one. Let's do something we haven't used yet. Let's use let's use this one. Put this one on the front. I'm not going to cover that part because I'm going to put something different on it. Hold on. Let me think a second. Yes. Okay. This is going to be darling, I think. Because I had weird dreams last night. What in the world? I don't, I don't even know how to explain it to you. I think sometimes I have dreams that I'm still working at Target, but it's not Target. But I dreamt that I was going to be in trouble because I was working overtime and it wasn't at Target. It was a, it was a job. I didn't even like it hated this job. And that's not true of Target. I enjoyed my tar my Target job. Um, I'm going to work there. And then, but this job was like, um, like out in a, like a, a like a, a yard of some sort. I don't know what that place was, but I was worried about stocking inventory and there was like a chain link fence around the yard and I mean, it was work. It wasn't like it was a prison or something, but um, it was just not good. And I didn't clock out the right way. I don't know. A little anxiety, obviously. Okay, and then let's punch that again because I don't know my whole punch will work. There. This one? Okay, we'll keep that one out because that was perfect. And then I wasn't going to cover that. Was it? Oh, it was this side. I wasn't going to cover it. Okay, now it was this side. I wasn't going to cover it, but I did. Okay, that's fine. So here's my thought here. If I go this way behind here. this this way and I can have yet another pocket or go this way down a little bit actually that's that part that's not gonna work that way well it will but I need to fold it here okay 
Hang on, I'm thinking this through because I've never done this before. Hold on. If I put this here, I want to fold this one here. Just like that. And then I want to cut this one short. Shorter than that. So we'll go. Okay, so this is at four and a half. So let's go to go all the way to three and a half ish. So it would be an inch. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Hang tight with me for a second. I'll explain. And then I have to cut this here. Okay, well, let's glue this first. All right. So here's the thing. We're going to go here. All the way up, we'll go ahead and glue that tab right there. And then we're gonna glue here. We're gonna glue here. And now we have a pocket here on the other side. This side, so there's a pocket here now. We're gonna trim around this because that's glued on there. that we can and I'm cutting through both of those pieces on the back okay so it looks like this now we could just cut this straight up which Could, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll put another piece. Of, well, I'll put another piece of paper over it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, though, I want to put a piece of paper here so that that's pretty. Um, let's see. Should I just put that one. Nah. I don't want to use that one again. We could use this red. These are card bases, but... No, save my card bases. What am I doing? Stop it! <laughs> stop it! Just stop it. That one's cut the wrong direction. Let me grab another scrap here. Cardinals are pretty. Let's see what else I've got. What else do I have? Out, how about? It's pretty, pretty. Let's use this one. Let's use this one. I like it. This is gonna go here. I could actually just do that. No. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Just go boop straight across. Won't matter if this bottom part's not straight because we're gonna just glue this back shut. Okay, so we'll glue this. And up around the edges here. And we have another pocket. Okay, so there's another pocket right here. Cut this to match. There's 
no rocket science to this, obviously, because I'm just figuring it out as we go. Okay, I don't need, well, yeah, we'll hold on to that bigger piece. So that's what we've got. We're going to put a piece of paper here, because that's, that's not going to work for me. I hope that we have this one. This is the one I want. Right here. Well, it's gonna have to work. That worked better. And then I'll come back and clean up that edge. Okay. We'll let that sit for a minute so it don't mess it up. Okay, now, let's do this inside part too. Should we just use this one? That would work. Just use this one. be hard to fold. I'm going to have to pull that out a little bit. Maybe we don't leave that just a second. Here, we'll re-glue that. I had it a little too close to the center and that's not going to work out. It's too thick to fold. This is cardstock so it's or at least a little heavier than a little heavier than, pay, than regular paper. But I'm gonna sew into this corner too, so it'll be it'll be okay if that shows a little bit. That'll fold much easier. I like that much better. Alright, trim this. I'm trimming the other side too. I don't need to do that. I have to fix that. Sorry if I'm working off screen, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Now, you wouldn't have to use a flyer file folder to do this. You could, I mean, this concept would work, even with just paper. And let's trim up this little guy. Should be dry enough now. Okay, so we've got this so far. We have a pocket here. We have a pocket no, we don't. We have a pocket here, and where's the other pocket? Right here. Right here. So we've got two pockets in there. Now, I want to put some paper right here. And I think I have a little stack of white paper that I thought of when I started doing this. That might be big enough. Let's see if it's big enough. That's already cut. Use those papers. This is just copy paper. I think that would be perfect, honestly. It's a little tall. We can fix that. So this is um, four and a half wide. So let's make sure, let's cut these to four and a quarter. Actually, we'll go, yeah, we'll go four and a quarter. We'll just get a quarter of an inch. Did 
These would be really cute if I had some tea dyed paper, but I don't. So we're just going to use what I have because this is already, you know, this is already made and, and everything. This is just more scraps out of my box. Isn't that great? And a quarter. Less paper wasted. I love that. Here, those are pretty bad wrinkles, so we won't use those. Oh, these is going to be too much, maybe. Maybe this will be too much, but we'll hold some back if it is. Four and a quarter. Okay. Now, we could use these for... All right, um, sediment strips, which I need more of those. I need to make some of those. Okay, so is this too much? Let's see. I think it's great, don't you? And then what we'll do is put, we'll put some Velcro right here to hold it shut. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're going to have to sew it in, though. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We'll get out our little kit. And I'm just going to do two, two, two holes on this one. We don't need to do the whole pamphlet stitch thing. We'll just do two holes. Make it easy. Make it easy. There. And we'll poke a hole there without poking our fingers like I just did. I'm going to make those holes nice and sizable so we can get that needle through easy. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I have this gold thread that I think we're going to use this time. Smaller needle tee. There, that'll work. stuff frays so easily. Okay. I actually want to double this up. So, that ought to be more than enough. Because it's Christmas. So let's do that in a pretty way. And of course, I'm gonna have trouble getting back through there. Doggone it, always. It's because I'm always trying to hurry and not clip things, you know, just eyeballing. Sometimes it makes it harder to eyeball. It's not really saving time or effort. Sometimes it's just easier to clip it. Okay. Oops. Let's pull those so that they are good and strong. I'm going to cut this off. Cut my needle out of there. Put that away so I don't step on it later. These things are incredibly sharp. So sharp. Okay. And we're just going to tie it. We're going to tie it on the outside because I think it's pretty. That's the plan. Wah! If I can hold on to it. Okay. Now, when I do it like this, I do, I'm going to tie a knot before I put a bow, because I will put a bow, but this will make sure it stays nice and tight. At least that's the theory, even though it's not staying nice and tight right now. Come on. Come on, nice and tight. I need to get my toe up here. As if hurrying will make it work. Hurry, tie it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can just get it to go. And it's close as it's going to get. Okay, so they might be a little loose. That's alright. That's alright. Put this up there. There. And 
And because this thread is what it is, I think I'm going to double knot it just to make sure it's secure because it doesn't seem to want to stay. It feels very loose as far as that bow goes and it'll probably come undone really easy. So I'm going to put another knot on there and that will be just fine. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. And actually, I do need to put a little bit of glue on the... Oh, you know what? I wonder if singeing it will work better. Except that... One of the kids took my lighter. I forgot. I need a lighter, Mom. Can I have yours? Sure, whatever. I never use it. Well, now I need it. Another thing to pick up at the store today, probably. Maybe that's why I haven't lit any candles, because I can't find a lighter. Okay, so there we go. There's our little book. I think that's super cute. It is kind of loose right there, but that's okay. Um, so we've got our little book. We could decorate the outside of it. Got the little notes in there. We've got a little pocket we could stick a note in. And then we've got another pot. Oh, we got to put the Velcro. That's important. Um, unfortunately, I think I left the Velcro in the living room. Okay, well, I'll put Velcro later. Just have to believe me. Okay, Velcro comes later. So I'll put the Velcro there to hold it shut. Because there's plenty of room right here. And there we go. There's our little... Older. And a little note can go here too. Or tag or something. We could put a little, we could put a pocket here too, just like we did on this one. Should we do that? That would be kind of cute. Let's do it. Why not? I'm gonna get out my trimmer because it makes my square my square straighter. Let's use this one instead. A taller now, two and a half inch is fine. Make sure it's straight. Make that straight. Around those corners. Oh, I like it. I like it. Just glued it crooked. And we'll put this across too. Too long? That'll be good. Yay! Okay, and then should we put in another little note? See the little that lines up. That's nice. I do need to ink it, don't I? white edges, of course. And to get the back. I feel like I need to put a tag in here with a ribbon on it so that you see it because I keep losing it. I keep forgetting it's there.
And then, do I need to do anything inside? I don't think I need to... It won't really show in here. Okay. So let's put... Let's put a little note spot here. Like we did with that other one. And... Like, oh no, I think I shut it, but I didn't. Okay, it's a little bit too wide, so we'll go a little shorter. Go to one three fourths inch. I think that'll be fine. And we'll round these corners. Fold it in half. And we'll ink that one. So I got all of the pages done last night, the bases of the pages um, in the journal. So now all we've got to do is decorate it. I am so excited. I just didn't want to work on the same thing every day. Uh, I know you guys probably get bored of that. So I wanted to uh, do something a little different today and um, was inspired to try something new. So here, here we are. But I can't wait to get back into that journal and show you guys how cute that's becoming. Okay, so let's put another, we'll just put a tag on this one. So this one is going to be about, I say three and three, four. So let's do three and a half night fit. Maybe just under three and a half. Oh, it's going to have to be under three because that cut was in the way. And then we're going to go a little shorter. Um, this is four and a half, so we're going to go to four. And then we're going to round all those corners, make it a little easier. I think this should fit just fine. And I'm not going to decorate this one. I'm just going to put it in there. I'll stain it. Okay, so if you have one that's tight like this, you can get your bone folder and very carefully go in here, go all around... I need to re-glue that bottom. You can go all the way around the edges and help stretch that paper just a bit. It'll make a huge difference. And then let's glue the bottom back because I think I trimmed it off by accident. <clears throat> okay, so when I put this paper in here, I'm gonna make sure I don't go all the way down to the bottom and break that seal and glue that in. But you can see it fits so much better. Is that gonna be too tall? Yeah, let's cut just another little bit off. Maybe not. Maybe just a quarter of an inch. We don't want it too tall. And we'll just stress the edges. This will be fun to have these on hand because I've got some swaps that I'm doing. And this isn't obviously the assignment, but um, these would be cute to go with it. With the things that I'm making. So that would be fun. I have glue on my thumb. Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll just put this one here. Why is it tight again? Come on now. Why is it tight again? Maybe I'll trim just a little bit more off that side as well. Or just leave it like that. That's cute too. Okay, we'll leave it like that. And then I need one here. So, another piece, another scrap, another, let's see, that'll be used for something. Let's see, I'm going to need some maps. We're going to need to find some of that craft paper, which is no problem. I just need to, I think I put 
put it all over here. My whole piece is over here. And let's go to three, oops, three and a quarter here. This one, I want to make a. Um, I'm going to make it into a tag shape, partly because I don't want it to go all the way into that pocket and get lost. I'm going to put a uh, ribbon on the top of it, so we'll just go ahead and make a tag shape out of this one. This way and this way. And we will put a hole on the top of this one. Get my actual hole punch. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's a little bitty hole punch. Just a tiny, tiny one. Um, nope, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm not going to decorate these. I'm going to just leave them, leave them as they are. And then um, we need a ribbon, and I should have some sort of red ribbon or something here, something close, perhaps white, nope, 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 that one won't work. Did I take all my red ribbon out? Oh, you know what I could use? I could use this jute from Chloe. there. That would be really cute. I kind of want to, oh, you know what? Here, let's do that. Oh, you can hear me going back and forth. I know. I'm sorry. We're going to go like this. And then what I like to do is use a piece of thread or something to go around the base of that, and I was thinking about using some red butcher's twine. So hopefully I can find something we could use this butcher's twine. you guys I think that's gonna be it for today this video is getting a little long um, wasn't sure what I was gonna make but this was a lot of fun so I've got that we've got this little folder very simple little pocket on the front with a little note in there and we could fill it up with all kinds of goodies and then we made another folder that has this pocket and it has this pocket it has this pocket, so it's got three pockets, and of course, I don't like that, I'm going to trim it, and it's got a little notebook in there, 
super cute, right? These will be fun to add into journals. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my process, this process. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I'm definitely going to put some Velcro on there too to help hold it shut. Um, this was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys will give it a shot. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button for more inspiration. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.